Yeah. What's going on? I'm Keith Carlos. I'm a model, actor, entrepreneur. Uh, you might know me from winning America's Next Top Model. I'm also Danny on CBS, Bold and Beautiful. And I was the lead man in Cardi B's Be Careful video. I'm doing this Therapy Thursday Can I Be Vulnerable video because I feel like everyone should be vulnerable at some point and know that it's okay to be vulnerable to release uh, some of the, the stresses you have in your life. So growing up um, in my environment, I always felt out of place and um, I always was angry. I was always aggress aggressive, I always like had to fight and prove a point. Uh, granted, I had, you know, older cousins, you know, to protect me and who had names that really um, wouldn't allow other people uh, in the hood to really fuck with me. I was always angry. So I knew that and I was always a great athlete. And although I was better at baseball and basketball, I chose football because I had a release when I played football, hurting people, uh, getting, getting that that aggression off of my chest really helped me yeah it made yeah. me feel good so i chose football and that was my sense of therapy and now that i'm not playing football i still have some of that aggression you know it really doesn't leave so I, I use i use it in other things uh boxing i run a lot now um the acting helps but uh what led me to therapy my actual session was having anxiety attack I returned to Atlanta, Georgia after winning top model and like the next day I had an anxiety attack. I didn't know what was going on. It just felt like I couldn't breathe, you know, uh, my heart, heart palpitations. Just felt like I was about to die. I went to the doctor, got all my blood ran, heart checked, everything, brain scan, everything was good. I'm healthy. But I'm like, what is wrong with me? Because I still feel, you know, like my equilibrium was off. And you just won America. And I like just won. So I have nothing but. First male winner. That's a huge accomplishment. Yeah, I have nothing but excitement to be ahead. Like, yeah. so I went to see a psychologist just to see, you know, what was going on chemically. And that's what I was diagnosed with was I had an anxiety attack and I had anxiety disorder and PTSD and all this stuff that affected me when I was younger. Yeah. They called it a perfect storm where everything hits you at once. So it was all the excitement of winning the show and what's to come. But opening up on the show every day, talking about, you know, going through this, going through that, this person dying, how it made me feel, da da da. Every day, just punching that in. And I never did that. I never had to be vocal yeah. because growing up, it was like you take it and, you know, you take it and you learn from it. You don't really have anybody to yeah. cry with. You, do, you don't cry for one. Up. Yeah, you man up. Of man up. Yeah, like, don't you man up, no don't bitch. be a bitch. Yeah. And that's what it is. But, um, yeah, so just years of that compounded is just uh, tore me down emotionally. Um, and it was all like subconscious. So it's not like I felt some type of way, it was yeah. just reaction. Yeah. So I went to therapy for that. And uh, I wanna say I, I went to about three sessions and then I did my own research on it. And then once I learned more about it, uh, I was able to feel more comfortable and learn to control it and learn uh, natural remedies to relieve it. Learn myself more on that side where Okay, if I start feeling this or start talking about this situation, this is going to make me feel like I'm going to have anxiety. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm like, I'm perfectly I'm fine and good with it because I know when it's coming and I know the triggers, etc. So I feel like everyone should definitely go for a session, even if they feel they're perfectly fine. Uh, that subconscious mind is is a mother. <laughs> even after winning winning top model or even before winning top model and uh pursuing the nfl dream you know that's just a whole nother people think you know because you're seen on tv playing football and you get the opportunity to play for an nfl team that you're a millionaire and you're rich and famous but that's not the case like my mom got out of jail and i had just got i got released from the eagles at the time that was like 2011 12 and um man i couldn't go back home like i couldn't go back to bridgeport like my mom was living in projects there. She was living with my brother and my sister and her sons and and everybody there think I'm rich and famous. So I'd end up, you know, Those hurting questions. somebody trying to protect myself yeah. or somebody get me because they think I have something. So I was like, I can't put myself in that predicament. So I stayed in Atlanta. Shoot, I, I live with like six different people sleeping on floors, living rooms, freaking kitchen floors, blow up mattresses, you name it. Like I was out there homeless for like a year and a half until I, uh, I got with a fraternity brother who gave me somewhere stable and I was able to think and uh, get, put some things into perspective and start you know, doing well for myself. But 
yeah, to those who 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 are going going through healing has impacted my relationship with others by allowing me to uh, be vulnerable when I know it's it's time to be. Uh, it's helped me with my empathy as well, so I'm able to understand and relate to people, and then respond or uh, react in a certain way. I would say my weakness is my heart. You know, I, I have a big heart. I get it from my mother. You know, I, I wear it on my on my sleeve. Um, I love hard, and I have like high empathy empathy for others. Um, I always put myself in other people's shoes, and I always put myself last. And and a lot of times that that hurts me. There's instances where you know, even in relationships, I've put family members above myself, and in return, it's hurt my relationships, whether it be financial or even with time. Uh, strangers on the street, like you know, if I see something that I don't agree with or um, I don't like, I'll do what I can, and I'll do what I feel in that moment to to help. What motivates me is not growing up without anything, you know, uh, knowing that I made it out of where I've come from. Uh, knowing what the bottom feels like motivates me as well. Like I'm, I'm from uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. People here in Connecticut, and they think, you know, picket fences and t-ball games. But uh, Bridgeport is actually the number ninth most dangerous city in the United States. Um, I basically grew up in the projects there. So, and my mom got incarcerated since the 15 years. Dad, dad, and I kind of grew up around, you know, gang members, uncles. It was all in and out of jail. So I kind of grew up around that and um, I was given some unfortunate circumstances that I made it out of uh, just knowing that it uh, motivates me to keep going and also to inspire others that you know may have have similar upcomings like myself or just can even relate and uh, just know that there's people out there who won't be granted the same opportunity that I had and I, I try to do everything for my last name. I'm the first in my family to go to college and to do anything to this magnitude. So I'm kind of just raising the bar for my younger peers, um, family members. You know, I, I know I inspire a lot of people around the world because uh, even after winning Top Model and having my story out there, people hit me up all the time from different countries like, wow, you, you inspire me. And, you know, just knowing that I'm living in service and I'm inspiring people that I would probably never meet uh, really pushes me to keep going. What's most important to me? What's most important to me would be family um, and my values. I hold those close to my heart. Um, being out here in Hollywood and pursuing the entertainment business, it can be tough, it can be misleading, uh, opportunity could be scarce, but I feel if you know who you are and you stay true to your guns, that no matter what, like the, the universe will turn over and you will accomplish everything you want. May not be at the same speed on God's speed, so you gotta be patient, but you definitely will, will conquer. That's good. Healing has changed me in many ways. It's uh, given me the blessing of being vulnerable and being vulnerable allows you to learn more about yourself. It allows you to um, open up and be real and allow you to just live, to breathe, like there's like weight off your shoulder. Um, when, when once you feel that relief, it's easier for you to live. <laughs> <laughs> Healing is imperative. Growth is necessary. Something for those of you out there who are going through something similar to, to that. Um, that can have a huge, a huge effect on your mentality and the way you see things. You know, uh, hurt people hurt people. So I would advise everyone to, who has gone through something traumatic to go see somebody. It will only help you. It will help you release. It will help you learn yourself. It will help you uh, in the grant, like 10 years down the road, you'll learn so much about yourself that it will just push you. It will push you physically, mentally. Uh, it will help you with your career. <laughs> I'm telling you, do it, you know, especially if you have kids because you don't want to have kids or even go into a long, uh, a long relationship with someone and you don't fully know yourself or you feel some kind of void or you're angry at something. You really should get that off your chest because, like I said, hurt people hurt people. In the grand scheme of things, you'll end up uh, hurting your kids or your insignificant other uh, indirectly.